hi guys welcome back today we are going to learn about uh, address types and uh, we will see what types of addresses are there in BLE and uh, how we can uh, uh, program them what are the uses of uh, these uh, specific types of addresses and so on we will learn about this in the advertisement and then later we will program this and uh, in the end we will see the packets and we will analyze the packets of the advertisement so uh, let's start as we have seen previously in uh, advertisement this function in advertisement is basically uh, the m one of the main functions uh, that will configure everything but uh, we have also seen that uh, we have uh, init which is uh, another variable and in it in in it we have adv data and uh, there we have uh, the specific uh, values or specific uh, uh, data types in which we will add our data and uh, this uh, data will be configured in the end and we have seen it in the previous tutorial and then we will start the advertisement and uh, if we want to stop it we can uh, stop it by calling this function and uh, we know that uh, how to uh, set the timeout we have already seen this and uh, we have uh, also seen how to stop it using this function let's move on to the next slide we have already seen this uh, that how the advertisement works uh, first we our configuration is done and then we receive this uh, success message and then we will start the advertisement and uh, if it's uh, successfully started the device is going to give us a nrf success message and uh, then it's going to advertise its data on air and uh, the scanners can scan it and it will stop accordingly we have already seen this in the previous tutorial if you haven't seen that just watch my previous tutorial i'm just gonna uh, go through this very fast today okay now let's move on to the next slide and uh, here uh, we have the address types so basically there are two types of the addresses in Bluetooth devices the first type of address is the public address uh, the public address is uh, 48 bits or 6 bytes and uh, then we have a random address it's also 48 bit or 6 bytes of address first let's see what is a public address so the public address is an address which can be bought from IEEE IEEE is an association and we can buy uh, the public addresses from them they will allot us 48 bits of uh, address uh, which is uh, actually 6 bytes of address and from this address uh, the 24 bits uh, will be assigned by the IEEE and uh, the next 24 bits are up to us to assign it to our devices these are the public addresses the public addresses uh, are allotted by IEEE and in terms of security if uh, somebody knows uh, somebody already knows your public address then they can keep a track on your device and uh, it's uh, not so good in sense of security so we will not see the public address if you want to buy the public address then uh, you should refer to IEEE and uh, from their website you will find uh, uh, the links to buy the public address or you can check around uh, the, you can google it to see how to buy the I3, uh, public address for our device from IEEE the next part is uh, the important part and uh, the random address so uh, there were two types of uh, the base addresses like uh, first one was a public address and uh, then we have a private address so we basically have uh, two types uh, the public address and the random address and now we are going to see the random address let's see what's there in random address so let's move to the next slide and uh, uh, what is a random address it's uh, also a six byte uh, random value which is allocated to the device uh, uh, the peripheral device works as a, an address of the device and uh, this uh, random address is uh, further divided into two more types uh, these types are random static address and a random private address so what is a random static address so random static address uh, is uh, an address which a user can uh, directly assign to the device so, so uh, we can assign it uh, uh, to the device uh, directly we will see this in programming after we learn about the basics and uh, uh, 
uh, how we can assign the static address and the address will not change uh, may, uh, this is a uh, really important the address will not change and the and it will remain the same during the power cycle of the device and so the static address will not change uh, so uh, our device's address uh, never changes uh, in terms of random static like we, we give it a value it's a 48 bit value and it never changes the next one is the random private address and it's a random address that may change many times over the power cycle of device so it's further divided into two more types so maybe it's going to be a little confusing for you at first but uh, don't worry in the next slide we will see the, how uh, the addresses are divided into different categories there are two types of private addresses and the first type is resolvable private address uh, the devices uh, in this uh, type of address the devices communicate with each other using a shared key and uh, this key is used to resolve the private address of the device so basically uh, this key uh, is uh, shared among uh, two devices uh, which are communicating the master device and the slave device and they have a basic key which is uh, shared between the devices and once they receive uh, a value uh, using this key they will resolve it to a proper address which will be 48 bit and then they will communicate so it's something like this and uh, then uh, we will see this later on right now we are just seeing the basics we will see this in the security because it in terms of security is a good it's a good way the next one is uh, the unresolvable private address and uh, unresolvable private address is something really messy nobody can uh, actually check the address of the device because the device keeps on changing its address so if you are using the unresolvable private address then you, nobody is able to track you down because your ad device address is changing and changing and keeps on changing so uh, the BLE core specifications uh, say that uh, it can change uh, uh, up to 15 minutes after every 15 minutes you can change the device's address so it's normal or you can uh, even change it after 15 seconds as well it's uh, not a big deal it's just up to your uh, personal application or how do you want to secure your device normally we don't really use this uh, unresolvable private address unless there are some special application in which we need uh, uh, tough security for the device uh, by the way, uh, we will also see how to program this, so don't worry. I will uh, make a tutorial on this as well, which will be the next tutorial. Here is the address hierarchy, and uh, here we can see that the BLE devices have a uh, address, a uh, device address, and uh, this device address is divided into two types. One is the public address, uh, which is uh, allotted to you by IEEE and uh, one is the private address, which is the random private address, and uh, the random private address is basically uh, the address which is uh, further uh, divided into two types one is random static the random static will never change during the power cycle and uh, the random private address uh, will actually uh, change it it's uh, during the power cycle and uh, it can be divided into two more categories and uh, the first one is resolvable uh, pri private address and the resolvable private address is basically a type of private address in which there is a shared key and uh, this shared key is uh, shared between the master device and the slave device so both of the devices have this key and they use this key to resolve the address value into a proper address so instead of sending them the address there is a special type of value which is a uh, which can only be resolved using this key uh, it's going to be used but we will not see that now we will see it in the future tutorials right now we are going to see the last type of address which is unresolvable and uh, it changes uh, continuously we can even change it after 15 seconds as well 10 seconds as well it depends and uh, the device will keep on changing it addre its address so it it won't be able you won't be able to track it down because the device uh, keeps on changing its address so now we know the basics of uh, the addresses what types of addresses are there in BLE and we are seeing all of this from the slaves perspective so as I have previously mentioned as well 
first we will do all the programming which is relevant to the slave's perspective because uh, mostly we use the slave programming in our applications. Uh, once we finish all of this peripheral or the slave programming, then we will move on to the central device or the master device programming and in which we will see the scanning and all that stuff. But actually the concepts are almost similar. So if you learn all of these concepts, uh, then they will help you out in everything. Okay guys, that's it uh, for today. In the next part of this tutorial, we will see uh, how we can uh, program uh, the devices uh, uh, to a random static address or random private addresses. So we will see that in the next tutorial. I hope so you have learned something new today. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Please do support me on Patreon and PayPal. And uh, I will really appreciate uh, your support because it motivates me to work more hard and uh, I will bring more uh, quality content uh, on uh, YouTube uh, free of cost for everybody. If you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below. Keep sharing my videos to other people. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.